South Korea's shipbuilding industry has recently grabbed headlines as it once again topped global shipbuilding orders last month. It hopes to keep its spot at the top by investing in green technology and digitalization of the sector. To explain, our economics correspondent Yi Soo Jin joins us in the studio. Welcome, Soo Jin. Thank you for having me. So um, tell us, what is Korea's shipbuilding industry? How is it doing? And what's behind the driving force behind its performance? To put it in simple terms, first of all, it's doing actually very well. The South Korea shipbuilding industry has been turning to green technology and embarking on digital transformation, which has been paying off. According to shipping analysis firm Clarkson Research, South Korean shipbuilders won 1.54 million compensated gross tons, or 62% of global shipbuilding orders, in October. They overtook their biggest competitors, Chinese companies, which secured 33% of global orders. This thanks to South Korea's domination of the eco-friendly ship market. Here's what an expert said. The global shipping industry is currently in the process of transitioning from ships fueled by diesel to LNG and countries are ordering Korean vessels because of their advanced technology, despite them being more than 10 percent more expensive than those from China. The International Maritime Organization, a UN agency that regulates global shipping, revised its greenhouse gas strategy in July to be more in line with the Paris Agreement by aiming for at least a 40 percent reduction in the carbon intensity of an international shipping compared to 2008 levels by 2030. As the shipping industry moves towards alternative fuels to meet IMO standards, South Korea's big three shipbuilders, Hana Ocean, HD Korea Shipbuilding and Offshore Engineering, and Samsung Heavy Industries, all recorded a surplus in the third quarter for the first time in 11 years. This upward trend is expected to continue as just last week, Hana Ocean inked a deal worth almost 500 million U.S. dollars from a Greek shipping company to construct four very large ammonia carriers slated to be the world's largest of their kind. But it's not just big shipyards that are making headway in developing green technologies. This ship, operated by a domestic port authority, is Asia's first lng fueled ship. It's part of the port's efforts to reduce its own green ga greenhouse gas emissions. This ship was also certified by the Ministry of Environment for its usage of an alternative maritime power system where ships in port can connect to the mainland electricity grid for power rather than using their own, often produced by diesel generators. And how is the local shipbuilding industry becoming digitalized? So, well, shipbuilders like Hana Ocean now have smart yards. These are smart shipyards where drones and IoT technologies monitor activities while robots and virtual reality are used in the shipbuilding process to increase efficiency, alleviate labor shortages and shorter development cycles. The company is planned to uh, keep advancing its smart yard as well. We are working towards incorporating the latest ICT technologies to connect to the entire shipyard and establish a smart and secure development system that can be operated autonomously. It's also established a high-tech lab dedicated to researching ways to prevent sloshing or liquid movement that can damage tanks that contain liquid fuels such as LNG. And what is the outlook in terms of the global shipbuilding orders? Well, the expert I talked to said the answer actually lies in investing in research and development for the digital transformation of ships. The big three are already doing a considerable amount of their own technological development. This means by 2030, it's highly likely that we will at least be able to reach the third stage of digitalization. The big three are already doing a considerable amount of their own technological development. This means that by 2030, it's highly likely that we will at least be able to reach the third stage of digitalization. The third stage of digitalization he just talked about refers to building a ship that has a monitoring system that will detect any issues and an AI platform that will give directions to the crew on how to fix those problems, while the fourth and final stage being completely unmanned ships. He added that to further accelerate this process, shipping equipment and machinery companies that work with these shipyards also need to undergo digital transformations to avoid bottlenecks in the production process. All right. Thanks for the reports, Sujin. Thank you. My pleasure. It was my pleasure.